Hey everyone, my name is Derek Floramonti with Ricardo. Today we'll be addressing and automating a generalized HR offboarding case using Ricardo. In this example, we'll be automating the deprovisioning and exiting processes that many companies have to go through manually. We'll be using a few standard applications like Bamboo HR, a helpful offboarding application, Adobe Sign, an application used to create documents and send them out for signatures. And in this case, we're actually going to be connecting with a generic HTTP connector. Uh, we'll be then moving to approval through MS Teams and finalizing with an exit interview and a Jira ticket for hardware collection. So we'll go ahead and start by firing and or terminating our first employee. Derek Ricardo is having a bad day. So we're going to go ahead and go through here and fill in a few pieces of pertinent information. The employee status, for instance, acts as our first recipes trigger. Once the employee status is marked as terminated, that actually kicks off the rest of the magic and uh, goes through our offboarding process. So we'll go ahead and save here, thus marking him as officially terminated. And we'll go ahead and take a quick look at our recipe interface to make sure the job is being picked up and is running. So generally it takes about five minutes for us to pull different applications, but we'll go ahead and sidestep that and make sure that um, this job is found. There you go. So Derek Ricardo has now shown up. And so the next step would be generally a Adobe saw sign um, document being created and sent out to us via our email. So signature requested here for Derek Ricardo termination. So we'll go ahead and sign this document. So we've connected to Adobe. We've created a document based on a, a generic template that I created a while ago um, that you can fill in dynamically. So we'll go ahead and sign this as official and we'll apply and sign. So our next trigger, this actually signifies our next trigger. Once an agreement has been marked as signed or accepted, it actually triggers our next step and pushes it through to uh, Microsoft Teams. But much like our first recipe, let's make sure that the job is being picked up accurately and has been signed accordingly. And there you go, it found the next job. We'll go ahead and refresh this page. Oh, official has popped up, we're good. And so, like I said, the next part, the MS team should be updated here in our termination schedules. So official has signed it. And these are just sort of arbitrary fields that I've, I've pushed in, you can you can change these. Even this button, you could add more buttons for maybe a denial of termination, uh, etc. In this case, we've created a button with other fields as well. And uh, here, for instance, this interview date time is very important for Outlook calendars, for instance. To interact with that API, we, have, we must have a formatted date time. Uh, but you can actually handle this in any way you'd like. So we'll go ahead and mark this like so. Um, and we'll go ahead and mark this for three o'clock maybe, just for an example. And so once we submit this, that button approval and submission should actually act as our next uh, trigger for our next recipe. And uh, in that recipe, a Jira ticket's created, uh, I believe an email is sent, and Jira, an email and an exit interview is created here. Um, once that job has been picked up, it should be marked and pushed through. Let me go ahead and refresh this page. And then we'll go ahead and check our calendar in Jira just to make sure that everything's been pushed through. Derek Ricardo, navigate to the calendar, make sure the exit interview, um, this was set up. Derek Ricardo, termination, please connect for interview. And then we'll finalize by looking up that termination for the right person. There you go. And this was also set up in Mercado, just uh, dynamically put the data pill in for the title as well as the description. And we finalized with the exit interview being confirmed in MS Teams. So, and as we've gone through the flow, let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the recipes themselves. 
And like I said, the first step was getting Bamboo HR to trigger by terminating the employee, setting with these conditionals here. It will look for those employees every five minutes and pretty much ignore anything that doesn't have an employee history status set to terminated. Uh, moving on from here and using some best, uh, best case practices here, we want to monitor for unpredictable errors, things that might happen that we don't actually, we, we can't uh, handle accordingly, making sure that we can, in fact, handle those errors, um, as well as creating necessary filters with a display name and a work email, as this is required to create the document, as well as is used in later recipes. And then here, which is something I wanted to highlight, is the generic HTTP connector. In this case, Adobe Sign was not a productized um, connection, so we had to utilize their API documentation and sort of manually create those requests, um, which is really powerful. In a day and age that technology keeps changing and new solutions keep popping up, we were able to sort of uh, deal with anything that we haven't already uh, addressed. So in this case, I looked through their API and set up uh, the different parameters for request and made sure that everything was was accurate and I dynamically created the name as well as set in the email and sent that out so the next part was when the agreement was signed and or accepted so once it was then it just simply goes through checks and make sure that it's just monitoring for errors like I said I always want to do that and then post the message in the form of calling for that button. And the button itself actually acts as a trigger, but here we call for that button to be called to, to be presented in that channel. So here is our final recipe. As this button is clicked and is set as our trigger, the next steps are creating that Jira ticket, uh, again, using those data pills dynamically, uh, creating that calendar event, and now you can use, um, you can really format the, the date input any way you would like and then confirming those steps have been done uh, by posting something in that channel. If something does happen then we handle those errors accordingly. Uh, and yeah so that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for listening and uh, I hope you have a sort of better understanding of the potential impact that Workado can make on your workspace and automation needs. Thanks so much for listening.